Hello everybody, Joe Orbe coming at you. Today we are going to finish off our series on Social Security. Our first video covered the basics. You need to watch that one, get into it, understand Social Security better. The second video went into your benefits. Individual benefits, married benefits, divorced spousal benefits, survivor benefits, important information everybody needs to understand. And today we're going to talk about how do you maximize your income from Social Security because what I want you to really take home today is Social Security is your money. You funded it. This isn't the government's money because every time you were paid, about 6% of your income went into Social Security and then your employer matched another 6%. So about 12% of your earnings over your lifetime have gone into the system. That's your money. So make sure you get back as much of it as you can. Don't just take it at 62. Think this through, watch the first two videos when you're done, come back and watch this one, and we're going to cover how can you maximize it. We're going to talk about three different strategies in order for you to get the most so you can get more money back and most importantly, spend less in taxes. So let's get started. So our first strategy we're going to cover is simply check your earnings report. We've talked about earnings reports in our first video on Social Security. Go online to Social Security, log into your account, and order a copy of your earnings report. You should do this each and every year and check it for accuracy. And then you want to start counting numbers. You're trying to get 35 numbers. Any zeros in there, as I said before, it's going to bring down your income. So if you go through the report and you count that you have 33 numbers and you only have, you know, because they're going to count 35 numbers, if you have 33 years worth of earnings and two zeros in there, if you work two more years, you'll get rid of those zeros, replace it with your current income, that will raise your benefit. Simple, easy, order your report every single year and look at it. Number two, spousal benefits. If you're currently married, if you are married for at least 10 years and divorced, or if you're a widow or a widower, you need to figure out how to claim spousal benefits because those benefits work in conjunction with each other and it gives you and your spouse more income. The easiest one is called the hybrid strategy. Simple, easy. Here it is. The higher earner pushes off their benefit. The lower earner can claim as early as 62. Now, typically I don't recommend claiming at 62 because you're only going to get 70 to 75% of your benefit. But if you were married or if you're currently married, you can claim early for the lower benefit and push off the higher benefit and the cumulative payout could be almost the same as if you both pushed it off till age 70. So again, I call that the hybrid strategy. It's the idea that the lower earner take it as early as they want, 62, 63, but in order for this to work, the higher earner needs to push their payoff till at least age 70, not beyond 70, but you wanna get as close to 70 as possible so you're earning those 8% deferred credits, you're getting the extra cost of living adjustments, and when you combine these two together, it gives you an incredible amount of income. It lets you get income early. It lets you get income later. If one of the spouses passes away, the other spouse has a much higher earnings for the rest of their life. And number three, and the reason why you're here and you didn't even realize it, let me show you how you can retire 100% tax free. Now, most people don't realize, but social security income by itself is tax free. If the only income you have is social security, you pay zero income taxes. Now I know some of you are out there thinking, well, I have social security, Joe, and I pay taxes. That's because you have other sources of income and let's cover those sources of income. There's only a few of them. You notice I'm chuckling here because a lot of different types of income can come into play and ruin the tax free benefit of social security. And those sources of income are, interest, dividends, capital gains, rental income, municipal bond income, earned income, uh, pension income. So the reason why I started with those incomes first is because there are ways that you can go about deferring that income. Say you have investments that are kicking off interest, dividends, or capital gains. You can move those investments into an account that aren't creating interest, dividends, or capital gains. Or maybe you have a large muni bond portfolio and you do that for tax-free income. Well, the, the interest, 
that the muni bonds kick off are tax-free, but that interest causes your social security to become taxable. So you can look at these different streams of income. We can look over your tax return, show you where those income streams are, and show you how to defer. Those are easy. One that's a little bit more difficult is pension income. I will be doing a video later on on how to maximize your pension. If you have the opportunity to receive a lump sum, you should really take a hard look at that because you can benefit greatly from that lump sum payment. Other than that, there's one major income source that will destroy your Social Security tax-free ability, and that is your RMD, your Required Minimum Distribution. If you've had a chance to watch my video on IRAs, please pause this and go watch. It's a quick video explaining IRAs and explaining in detail what a Required Minimum Distribution is, but the fact of the matter is that is a 100% taxable income, and that RMD will in turn cause your social security to become taxable. I need you to be thinking about this. So what I like to propose to you now is a system I've developed over the last 22 years working exclusively with retirees and I call it my reverse retirement system. Let's first go over the government's plan. This is what they want you to do. This is how they want you to handle your IRAs and your social security. They want you to retire at 62 and claim social security. See, by doing that, you're getting a lower benefit, 70%, maybe 75%, and you're gonna get that for life, so that's less income the Social Security Administration has to pay out. So now you have a lower income from Social Security, and you're pushing off your IRA. See, I hear this all the time from people. People tell me, well, Joe, you know, the IRA money, that's my money, and the Social Security money, that's the government's money, so I'm gonna spend the government's money first, and I'm gonna push off the Social Security. No, that's not the way it works. Social Security is your money. The IRA is your money. Let me show you how to get more of both and pay less taxes. So what they want you to do, they want you to retire early, claim Social Security at 62, receive a lower benefit, and the entire time your IRA balance is growing. It's growing tax deferred, but it's growing. It's getting larger and larger. And so then your RMD comes into play at age 72. And I tell you, it's like this big rock just falling off a cliff and hitting you in the head with taxes. You had no idea it was gonna happen. I've seen people go from a few hundred dollars a year of income taxes to multiple thousands, tens of thousands of dollars of extra income taxes, all because of that RMD. So let's not go the government plan. Let's not go that route. I've devised a system I call the reverse retirement system, and here's how it works. You wanna retire early, great, retire early. Don't take Social Security. I want you to push off your Social Security benefit because every year you pushed it off, as we talked about in my other video, it's growing, it's maturing, it's earning about two to 3% cost of living, and every year beyond your full retirement age, it's earning 8%. So we push off Social Security, it's growing. I want you to start spending your IRA, and at the same time while you're spending, I want you to be converting. I want you to go from an IRA over to a Roth IRA. Now there are taxes involved in that, and that's something you wanna you know, talk to your CPA, talk to your certified financial planner, let them walk you through this system, but you can be spending and converting, spending and converting, and the idea is to lower the value of your IRA so that by the time you hit 72, your RMD is small enough that it doesn't cause any of your social security to become taxable. So think about it, you retire, you spend, you convert, the entire time you're doing that, your social security is growing by 8% plus cost of living, you hit 72, your RMD is small enough that it doesn't cause your social security to become taxable, so now you're receiving social security tax-free. If your RMD is small enough, your standard deduction will wipe it out and then you can take any extra income from your Roth IRA, and that also is 100% tax-free. I have helped individuals retire with 80, 90, 100, $110,000 of income and pay zero taxes. You can do this as long as you don't have too big of a pension. Now, if you do have a big fat pension, there are things we can still do, so don't count yourself out. Just by doing the conversions, you can have significant tax savings. And when I say significant, I'm talking about upwards of hundreds of thousands of dollars. And if you're young enough, 
maybe even millions of dollars of tax savings over your life expectancy by deploying this tactic. Again, it's called the reverse retirement. And the idea behind it is we're pushing off Social Security and we're spending and converting our IRAs. If you would like to learn more about the reverse retirement plan, reach out to us, send us an email. I can put together a detailed report showing you specifically how much income tax you're gonna pay over your life expectancy going the IRA route and how much you're gonna pay in income tax going the push off social security, convert my IRA to a Roth IRA route. And it will be incredibly helpful to you to take a look at that report and see how much tax you can save. Not only could it possibly save you hundreds of thousands of dollars of taxes over your life expectancy, when you pass on and you leave this benefit to your heirs, you now give them a Roth IRA which is received income tax free. So we're talking about giving you income for life. We're talking about having that income be tax free and then creating a legacy that could be significantly larger than the legacy you'd leave if you just went about the government's plan and had everything stay inside the IRA. Now I know we started talking about social security here, but social security and IRAs go hand in hand. You need to understand how the two work with each other because those are your two main sources of income in retirement, social security and IRAs, and you don't want them together. You want social security and Roth IRAs. That is gonna give you more income with less taxes. I hope this video was helpful. If you'd like some more information, please reach out to us. We can send you our customized reports specifically for you, showing you how to go about this process. If you'd like help in this manner, reach out to us there or find a qualified certified financial planner in your area to walk you through this. We're available by Zoom. I'm creating this series of educational videos to number one, help the public, but number two, if you have questions, get a hold of us. If you'd like to learn more, you can always go to the website you can always go to Amazon, order a copy of my book. I don't talk about my book, but I am a best-selling author. Everything they never told you about retirement, you can get a copy of the book on Amazon. I hope today was helpful. As always, if you like the video, make sure you hit the like button. If you'd like to subscribe, please send us an email. We'll get you on the mailing list. I enjoy doing these videos for you. I look forward to seeing you on the next one.